Good afternoon everyone, hope uh, you are doing very well. In this lecture, we're going to be discussing about uh, quantification or let's say um, what happens to the you know change in supply or demand, how these are affected by change in price. So something called elasticity in economics. So we're going to discuss about what is elasticity. For example, think about a situation that uh, earthquake strikes uh, the city where uh, country's largest uh, refinery is there and it wipes out the whole refinery. So what it means in terms of economic sense, how much uh, gasoline price will rise. Okay. Another uh, thing we, we can uh, think about or uh, talk about that, let's say, um, the energy cost is uh, rising. Okay, uh, what it means that how the supply or how the demand basically, how the demand is gonna get affected for the few or energy efficient uh, uh, electronic uh, uh, equipments or energy efficient electric bulbs. Okay, so all those uh, questions. Uh, are related to you know cause and effect. So what what happens in economics that uh, uh, we need to quantify. We need some way to quantify the things. For example, you may measure the uh, oil price in United States U.S. dollars. Or the person who is living in in U.K. they want to measure it in uh, pound. Okay. And the person who is living it in, say, Germany or Europe, um, they want to measure it in, in terms of euro. Okay, so we need some way of, of quanti quantification so that the uh, the change becomes uh, unit free. Okay, so we're going to be talking in in that term. So we need some way um, to measure that change. Uh, so we can put up a question like, what is the best way to measure the responsiveness of demand if the price changes, okay? Or we can also ask a question, what is the best way of measuring the responsiveness of supply for the price change, right? So there is something called elasticity in economics. So elasticity is nothing but the percentage change in one variable for a a small percentage change in another. Okay. So we were talking about you know demand and supply and how, how much quantity is supplied uh, at which price and all. So if, if say price changes, okay, how much would be the percentage change in demand? So that would become elasticity of demand. So in simple simple terms that uh, when we increase the price usually you know it, it senses that the demand is on a uh, you know going to decrease a uh, negative trend. So what we say here the elasticity of demand is the percentage decrease in the quantity that results from a small percentage increase in price right. So how we can represent uh, the elasticity of demand in terms of mathematical equation. So let's see, uh, we represent uh, elasticity of demand by Greek letter epsilon, okay. That is dx over x, dx is the change and uh, the change in the quantity, okay. And dp is the price. So a minus sign is because uh, we are talking about the decrement. So to make this positive, we are adding the negative sign. Simply. So dx over x, how much the quantity is changed, percentage change, okay? dx over x, and then dp over p, the percentage change in the price, okay? So let's, uh, you know, solve this equation, we can represent it in that way. Take the p uh, in numerator, it becomes p over x, dx over dp. 
and dx over dp we can also you know write it as the derivative with respect to p is the function uh, the quantity is a function of price p we are already saying it here right xp so we can write the, the elasticity of demand by this equation okay so let's keep on discussing further okay. for example you want to buy something at a price p so how much would be your total expenditure or total revenue okay if you are on a selling side okay so what it is basically total expenditure or total revenue we can say that if if you are you know buying xp you know quantity at a price p so simply multiply both of the xp multiplied by p would become your total expenditure or total revenue and we can represent by this equation simple now what it means how we can represent it in in terms of epsilon or elasticity of demand so let's take a derivative derivative of tr p equal to xp with respect to p okay this p here is our variable on which x is dependent okay so p is becomes our independent variable p so p xp becomes xp plus p x tick p or derivative p so we just simply used a calculus formula here for taking the derivative of something in multiplication okay. so p xp okay so dp over dp into xp plus keeping the p constant taking the derivative of of the x with respect to p is equal to now what we can do we can take the xp common from this equation and it becomes 1 plus p xp divided by xp and that is nothing but 1 minus epsilon so we have just what we did p x tick p over xp so we put this term the elasticity we put this term in this equation here okay and this negative sign comes to this side minus epsilon okay simple it's not complicated okay now what what it is we wanted to know that how much the expenditure would change with the percentage change in price so we got this dp over t over dp tr that is that is our p into xp this quantity and okay we are dividing this whole quantity by xp and xp xp from here we can say xp is equal to 1 over p multiplied by dr okay and we have put the, the xp definition in denominator so we got this term d over dp tr change in the total revenue divided by okay how much the revenue change for unit price 
which is equal to 1 minus epsilon or we can say that percentage change of total revenue resulting from 1% change in price is is equal to 1 minus elasticity of demand okay so we got the equation in terms of elasticity of demand and total revenue and we can now deduce uh, in certain interesting facts out of this equation how so first of all 1% increase in the price will decrease total revenue when the elasticity of demand is less than 1. So see in this equation if the elasticity of the demand is less than 1 then this becomes positive and we are already saying the 1% increase in price will increase total revenue okay will increase total revenue when the elasticity of demand is less than 1 okay and we call it inelastic demand right now another important uh, interesting fact we can deduce a price increase will decrease the total revenue okay so this price increase will decrease the total revenue when when the when this right hand side terms becomes negative means the elasticity of demand is greater than 1 okay and we term it as elastic demand okay now another interesting fact if the elasticity is equal to 1 if the elasticity is equal to 1 so this side becomes 0 right hand side in this equation becomes 0 and we call it unitary elasticity the total revenue is unchanged by a small price change okay another interesting fact percentage increase in price percentage increase in price will increase revenue by 1 minus epsilon percent okay got it so percentage increase in price will increase total revenue by 1 minus epsilon or 1 minus elasticity of demand times that much percent basically okay So let's talk about uh, any uh, an interesting fact here. Let's say uh, the x, okay, the demand, which is a function of price, is a linear demand. Okay? Now, what the elasticity would be for such kind of function? Simply, what we did here. what we did here we want to calculate the elasticity okay when the demand has linear form so simply minus p take the derivative so derivative of dx over dp would be simply and I take a derivative of this derivative of the constant is 0 minus b times derivative of p over p is 1 okay okay so that becomes this term and divided by a minus p p so that becomes minus bp divided by a minus bp is equal to p over a because we divided uh, numerator with b and denominator with b okay a over b minus b okay so what it tells us let's look at the graph how it will look like okay so 
on y-axis it's the price on x-axis it's the demand okay um, so see how it is a, a linear uh, curve no? your supply uh, sorry your quantity q versus the price okay So when the price is A divided by B, okay, it means that elasticity is infinite. Okay. You can see from this equation here as well. When P is equal to A over B, the uh, denominator becomes zero and something, so P over zero or becomes infinity. That is the case this one. Okay. Now when the epsilon or elasticity is zero, okay, then simply A over B minus B equal to P. Okay. So we have some 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 price here. Um, let's take another interesting fact. If the demand takes the form of A P minus epsilon then demand will have constant elasticity equal to epsilon okay so if your demand function has elasticity of demand on right hand side okay in this uh, equation in this form say ap minus epsilon then your demand will have constant elasticity, okay? So let's talk about uh, elasticity of supply. So far, we discussed about elasticity of demand. Elasticity of supply is analogous to elasticity of demand, okay? In terms of uh, elasticity of demand, we were discussing about responsiveness of demand for a price change. Now here, elasticity of supply means the responsiveness of supply to a price change or in other words, percentage change in supply for a percentage change in price. And we represent it with the uh, Greek letter eta. Same way, we as we uh, discussed the elasticity of demand, eta is elasticity of supply. The change in supply, percentage change in supply, divided by percentage change in price. P over S, ds over dp, or we can write it, P, derivative of supply with respect to price divided by supply function, okay? And in the same way, if the supply function takes a form of A, P, A, and eta, where the elasticity of supply is in the multiplication with P. Remember, in the elasticity of demand, um, the, uh, the, demand uh, the, the demand curve, if it takes the form, where a constant multiplied by price minus epsilon, okay? That we call constant elasticity of demand. Now here, if supply function takes this form where elasticity of supply is in multiplication with price, okay? If the function is of that form, then the supply will have the constant elasticity equal to eta. All right. So thank you guys. Uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this lecture. And thank you for subscribing Lee Professor channel on YouTube. Have a wonderful day.